Once you have got your Xbox Series S up and running, here's five tips and tricks to get even more out of your Xbox Series S experience. If you're an Xbox OG, you may remember saying Xbox on to turn on the Xbox with a Kinect back in the day. You can now make this happen along with a bunch of other commands with the help of a digital assistant like Alexa or Google Home. In the settings, scroll down to the menu called Devices and Connections, then you'll see an option for Digital Assistance. If you choose to enable the Digital Assistance, you'll have to continue your setup through their individual app. So that will be in the settings menu, you have the option for Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa, whichever one it is for you, finish off the setup in that app. It will only take a few clicks. Then once it's all set up, you can just say, Alexa, tell the Xbox to launch Forza Horizon 5 and you're good to go. If you want to let your Xbox turn on your TV, when you turn on the Xbox, there's a setting for that. It can also turn off your TV too, which is pretty sweet. Head over to the settings. Under the general menu, select sleep mode and startup. While in the power mode menu, scroll down and select TV and AV power options. Select HDMI-CEC and you will allow your Xbox Series S to interact with the power options of your TV and you will need to restart your console after enabling this setting so it works. And if you set up the voice assistant we spoke about earlier in the video, you can tell Alexa or Google Home to turn on your Xbox, which will then also turn on your TV. If you have a tip or suggestion, make sure you drop it in the comments so we can all check it out. Speaking of checking things out, check out your display settings. Before you jump into your next video game, Check that your TV or monitor settings are correct to ensure your games will look their best. In the settings general menu, select TV and display options. In particular, if you're running a 1440p monitor or 120Hz, make sure you update your settings to take advantage of the increased resolution and frame rate available, just like you can see on screen, so you can get the most out of your Xbox Series S. You want to be ready to smash that new capture button on your new Xbox controller to save your moments of in-game glory, so make sure it's set up to your liking. Open settings, then move down to preferences, then select capture and share. Customize all your capture settings here, including make your record what happened settings as short as the past 15 seconds or as long as one minute with the 1080p setting. If that is not enough for you, if you put the clip resolution down to 720p, you can then capture up to three minutes. Then make sure you check the button mapping section so you configure what the share button does for when you press it or hold it to capture. Then get sharing all of your awesome wins with your friends or upload them to social media. Let's make your Xbox background pop. First go to general settings, then go to personalization, select my color and background. Here you can change some defaults including menu tile transparency. You can also set your background to achievement art, colors, custom images, screenshots, or really take it to the next level by selecting the dynamic backgrounds. The dynamic backgrounds look fantastic and have subtle movement in them also, so it's not just a solid image. I recommend you check out the OG Xbox or Halo ones, which are really cool. Customizing your Xbox Series S will make it even better, so why not check out five of the best Xbox Series S accessories by clicking the card on screen now.